On the cusp of his 90th birthday, Chaffetz's prints are in museum collections all over the world, and his four decades on the faculty at Ohio State University have made him one of Columbus's most celebrated artists. He's still going strong, and the messages of his prints are as incisive and relevant as ever. Chaffetz became aware of the hypocrisy of political corruption during his younger years in Providence, Rhode Island. While others attended political rallies or signed petitions, Chaffetz discovered that his chisel was mightier than the sword. Politics has changed, but still those old problems of politics working for their own advantage rather than public welfare and good is still, is still around us. So I, I've had to comment on that. As a Jewish veteran of World War II, Chaffetz struggled to wrap his mind around the atrocities of the Holocaust. The effort resulted in a series of prints called Perpetrators, in which he literally carved into wood and stone the crimes and punishments of some of the most notorious monsters of the Nazi regime. For years I wanted to do a statement on the Holocaust. Uh, I, I'm, I'm an American and, uh, and Jewish, and I was incensed and outraged and appalled by what a, a so-called civilized country did in my lifetime. It was a Jekyll and Hyde situation. These men who did all these atrocious things to other human beings would go back to their families and be loving parents loving husbands, and yet they did as their job eliminating women, children, the old people, and how they could live, live this dual existence made me wonder what, what are human beings capable of? During Chaffetz's more than 40 years of teaching at The Ohio State University, he saw humanity in all its infinite variety. As he commented on crooked politicians and war criminals, Chaffetz also critiqued the posturing of his fellow professors and the intellectual hypocrisy of the academic machine. In many of his prints, the flattened mortarboard of the university elite becomes Mickey Mouse ears, and erudite-seeming Latin scrawls across the page in ironically shallow slogans. When I came to Ohio State, I had never heard expressions such as Mickey Mouse, and it proved to be courses that you didn't have to study for. I was inspired by the academic ceremonies, the cap and the gown, and with Mickey Mouse, it seemed to be a natural transfer of the mortarboard to the ears, it, it, it proved to have meaning to a number of people. But even if Chaffetz's chisel cuts deep into the world's shady underbelly, his message is, yes, critical, but not negative. It would be immodest, immodest on my part to say that in a world where there are so many different styles of art, I have still remain true to my ideals that human beings count, that politics counts, kindness counts, that people who contribute to our betterment in terms of science, in terms of the arts and literature, continue to be my focus. And my comments on ac academia, my comments on politics are made with the idea of bettering these institutions. I don't remain critical. I hope for the best. Jennifer Hambrick, WOSU Radio, reporting for Art Scene.